Ladies and gents, TV here with some more Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku 2. Last episode, we unlocked Piccolo as a playable character and his idle animation when he's when you're not playing is him is him meditating. Cool. Anyways, yeah, we unlocked Piccolo as a main character and also um, when you're doing the file select screen or doing the when you're in the file select screen, you can select which character you want to play as. Also off screen, I leveled up Gohan quite a bit. I leveled him up all the way to level 12 because I'm not going to be using him for the majority of this episode. Probably not at all, actually. So I'm just going to be focusing on Piccolo. And also, our objective is we either talk to Goku or the mayor about a problem in West City. Doesn't matter which one of those two we talk to, but since we're near the mayor's office, might as well talk to him. And yep, my goodness, a Namek. I'm pretty sure like the official term is Namekian. I don't know, I, I think Namekian sounds better because Piccolo is from the planet Namek. You're familiar with Nameks? But of course, why one is currently staying in my home until he finds his own place? Having your entire planet destroyed it can be quite traumatic. Yeah, that's something you say to someone after an event like that. Yeah, Piccolo silence is very understandable there. Well, I understand you people are quite powerful. Ah, uh, some of them are. If you find time, could you please assist the poor torment village to the south of the city? The Triceratops in their region are behaving quite aggressively. Okay, we're going to be heading south of West City. And if we take a look at the map here, we're heading all the way down there. And there is a lot to explore there, which means we get the chance to mess around with Piccolo quite a bit. No, Piccolo as a character, not that much different right now from Gohan. Like, the main difference between all the characters that you can play as are probably their energy attacks. But otherwise, nothing really different. So, Triceratops Jungle. And you do need Piccolo to progress through here, because there is a green level barrier here, which means it's for Piccolo. Let's see you. Oh, hello. Yeah, the enemies here are going to be doing quite a bit of damage, and I forgot to scan the thing. Well, there's more down here. Let's see, this here is a Kuma mercenary. Kuma means bear. This bear is a member of the bear mercenary clan. And, yeah, they're, they do things. Let's see. Kill those things. Nope, nah, whatever. Just gonna spam my energy attacks then, I guess. It's probably spammed more than I should have. Well, anyways, down here actually is... There's a golden capsule down here, which is why I'm going this way. Because this is not the main path. Right there, but... As you can see, there's quite a bit of enemies that I want to take care of. And level 11, nice. Okay, golden capsule, I believe this is our fourth one out of 25? I seriously thought there was 50 in this game, but I don't know. That probably would have been a bit too much. Uh, you. And fight that thing. The I think those things are called ladybugs. Yeah, the, the Kuma mercenary people, they can do quite a bit of damage when you're just starting out as Piccolo, so... It's a good idea to do some off-screen training as them, or with, on them, and probably gain like a few level ups. Uh, let's see, you, energy blasts are fun to spam. It'd be really cool to shoot energy blasts in real life. And if I remember correctly, yep, this level gate over here is a pink one or a purple one, but that one over there is actually a level 50 one because level 50 is the max level in this game and yeah i will be going through those as well those are optional but there are things to grab there Let's see you i don't like you uh 
you can also die. I might do some off-screen training here with Gohan as well if he's not... If Piccolo surpasses him in level, because... Off-screen training is always a helpful thing. And it's always a good idea to get your level up, because there is going to be an upcoming battle that might be a bit on the difficult side. Okay. Now there's an enemy down here that I want to avoid right now, because... It's that thing over there. I can scan it right here. It's a tiger bandit. Uh, yeah. This is an orange one. Let's see, and got a plus one endurance capsule. Let's try to kill it. Nope, that does a lot. Okay, well, might as well just spam those. They give a lot of experience. They can also throw bombs, which is not fun. Come on, let me kill you. I need to level up so I can get back to full health here. I did not kill you yet. Oh, hello. I could also use some food because my health is not doing so well on, on things. Now, the correct way to go is to go through here, but... I'm not going to go behind the waterfall. Instead, I'm going to go all the way down here. Because, one, there's rocks. And rocks always have food. Trust me. It's how I eat my food in real life. I break apart rocks. And then a chicken comes out. A fully cooked chicken. Now, down here, another golden capsule. And actually, we can trick it out so we can fight the tiger bandit here. But, that's not a good idea to do, because, yeah. Now, if I kill another one of the Kuma people, Kuma warrior, whatever, I'm probably going to get another level up. So, yeah, might as well do that, because there's like, one, like, right down he here, or up here, or whatever. Oh, that's, you know what? Not doing so hot here, so... Let's try to refill up on health. Good thing rocks respawn when you leave the screen. Uh, let's try to grab another thing of health, or maybe an energy ball. It's a small energy ball, but I can deal. Oh wait, I'm trying to go this way. This is the correct path. Piccolo level up. Perfect. Level 13. Um... I don't know if I want to level up. To... Uh, well... Whatever. I'll just head down here. And as you can see, all these crops are... Well, can't really see it now. But let's scan this thing. This is a Triceratops. We can't damage these ones because they're running around. But yeah, they're trampling all the crops. And you can't fight in this area. And let me see. I know there's a few things to grab around here in this area. What do you have to say? Uh, you're looking a bit green. These dinosaurs keep running around and around and around and around. Let's see... Yep, there's the Triceratops King that controls all the dinosaurs in the area. Which is not good. Can I go inside here? Nope. No, I can check the map to see if... No, I can't go inside any of these houses. But there is a capsule around here. I don't think it's a golden one. I think it's like... A plus one power capsule, if I remember correctly. Should be right here in this chest. Plus one strength. Maybe there's a capsule over here. I don't think so, but... But you know what? I think it's time I saved. Because saving is always a good thing to do. And let's uh, head down here. 
avoid getting trampled. And here we have... Are these the same stats? Yeah, the same stats as the other ones. We have a little maze here where we need to avoid getting trampled. Okay, you know what? That was not a good idea. So what I'm going to do is... First off, I'm going to go back up top here so I can crush some of the rocks to heal myself because I need to be at full health for the upcoming fight. That's not enough. That's still not enough. Come on. That's better. Um, you know what? One more. Because seriously, I need to be at full health for this. Especially since I'm going in at level 13. When I should probably be going in at like level... 14 or maybe 15. But whatever. I think I can do this. I already saved, so... Stupid dog. You make me look bad. Okay, so... Come on. And hide in the little nooks and crannies over here. And go on to the next area because... Actually, I take a look at the map. You don't really get to see the maze. I'm gonna wait for you guys. And boom. Um, this maze kind of scared because these triceratops do a lot of damage if they hit you. Luckily, they only go like in a set path. Otherwise, I would be screwed. Okay, let's go down here. And even if you're like hiding in the nooks and crannies, you have to be like all the way at the end of them because sometimes the triceratops will hit you. But anyways, we're at the end here and let's confront the Triceratops King with some pretty kick-ass music by the way. King Triceratops says, what do you want? I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't be trying to run those farmers off of their land. Those farmers have just as much right to be here as you do. Yeah, this guy's a jerk. Don't know why he's against humans, but whatever. Are you gonna end this nonsense or what? Yeah, he's not gonna listen to us. Cause he's King Triceratops. And he has a lot of HP actually. 850, that's a lot. He's never lost a battle against a T-Rex apparently. If he, uh, he can sometimes charge at you like that. But if you just keep on wailing on him and like get a good combo going, he shouldn't be that difficult. Like what I'm doing right now. There are some rocks for you to, to destroy up here if you ever get low on health. But like I'm comboing him like yeah, I'm comboing him pretty nicely. So not gonna have any problems here, hopefully. Like he's already down to half his health. So yeah. Just gotta keep on punching. Cause punching is a thing. Oh, stop hitting me. Cause now I'm down to half my health, so... Oh! We didn't have to kill him. Okay, just get him down to a certain point. Okay, okay! I give up. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, let's see. I may not show the greatest hospitality, but I am a Triceratops of Honor. I was crying. We live here in peace with these humans. Good. Come back one day and you will find the fields of this village growing once again. Cool. And what he does say is actually true. The fields will be back to normal, I guess. And with that done, a flight circle shows up, so we don't have to go all the way through there. And where, where's um, the lady person? Yeah, you. Are you defeating Triceratops King? Um, is that it? This is a pretty nice track. Save and let's go back up because shortcuts are a thing. Get to skip all of these parts here 
And if we try to leave... This guy! Frieza, but how? This looks nothing like Frieza. I mean, not in this form anyways. This is cooler. Yep, he is Frieza's brother, and he is a lot stronger. He's not in the... Like, he is only in the movies, so technically he's non-canon, but whatever. Frieza had a brother? Yeah. What about your mom? Like, what? whatever happened to Frieza's mother? I always thought they were short-sighted fools. However, they were still my family. I would kill you all now, but I want to fight Goku. Yeah, he fights Goku in the anime. If he dares, I will be waiting for him on New Namek. So this is kind of like combining the first two cool. There's only two cooler movies. Yeah, this is kind of combining the cooler one and cooler two movies because cooler one takes place here on Earth where Goku fights him. Then cooler two has meta, metal cooler, meta cooler, whatever, and that takes place on New Namek. But we won't be fighting him in till way later. So yeah. And with that done, can I not just not bump into things? I mean, we need to tell the mayor that we did good. So let's go back. Okay, for bravery and courage, we on the call of duty. Okay, then he's not even going to thank me. But that old guy stole the keys to the city. And yeah, Hercule can't do that. He's wrestling sharks. Okay. Okay, then. So I... I don't get thanked. I'm not gonna get thanked for this. Oh, cool. There's like a little diorama here of West City. And I like how, like, there's portraits of the other mayors around here. But, like, this the, the current mayor is the only one that's a dog. I don't know, that's just humorous to me. Well, anyways... With that done, we're gonna be chasing after that old man. But, I'm gonna be doing that in the next episode, so... See you guys next time for some more Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. Later!